Hi, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer. While I'm here, I'm going to be addressing about the gun control issue in the Second Amendment. Well, everybody knows what happened on December 14th, 2012. The Sandy Hook shooting and the alleged shooter Adam Lanza. Well, from uh, going over all the uh, researching all the evidence and what the police and the news media have what they've what the police shared with the news media on what happened on that day the 14th of 2012 that was a Friday uh, there's a lot of loose ends it doesn't add up for an example uh, why would Adam Lanza use the shotgun the long gun kill people uh, kill the children including the teachers and then take it back to his car throw it in the trunk go back into the school and use small two small handguns and commit suicide well there's a lot of loose ends in the uh, Sandy Hook shooting uh, if anyone wants to uh, research the Sandy Hook shooting uh, you could go to YouTube and there's a 30 minute documentary called San the Sandy Hook shooting fully exposed uh, well and just recently Barack Obama about a week or two ago along with Vice President Biden uh, gave a solution to uh, gun control and this is without a Congress's approval. These are 18 to 25 executive orders without any approval from the Congress. So uh, President Bi Vice President Biden and Barack Obama, our president, says, go to hell, Congress. I don't need you. I'll just file some executive orders. And this is the way it's going to be. And a lot of people are buying this hook and line, hook, line and sinker. A lot of people in this country do not understand the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. They do, and I'm ref referring to a particular part of uh, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, the Second Amendment. We have a God-given right to defend ourselves and to bear arms. And there's reasons for that. If our government or rogue elements of our government or the whole entire government goes out of control, we the people could do something about that. So we could restore order and put a, a more proper uh, body that would represent us, we the people. And... People are just being manipulated because they don't know the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, especially the Second Amendment, because they don't teach it in the schools. They don't teach the, the U.S. Constitution and the state Constitution of Pennsylvania in our schools. And I think we should get the heck out, the hell out of, uh, well, basically... Uh, the, the federalizing of uh, our education get out of the uh, Department of uh, Education Ronald Reagan tried doing that in his first term he was making moves to do so and then all of a sudden the assassination attempt on President Ronald Reagan and he decided after the assassination attempt and after he got well he decided not to uh, go forth with disbanding the Department of Education and there was another thing that came out of it the Brady Bill the man that saved President Reagan uh, I think it was John Brady he got seriously hurt his wife and his family supported the Brady Bill which is a gun control b bill which it's a which it's very much against the Second Amendment to right bear to so we could have the the right to bear arms 
and to defend ourselves in this country. Well, Barack Obama, this is, I'm addressing this to you. You are actually violating our God-given right to defend, to defend ourselves and the Second Amendment and the whole entire Constitution. You should be put in jail. You are committing treason. You are committing an act against the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence. You should be just thrown in jail and impeached. And Biden, he should go right to jail with you. He should be impeached. You know better. Both the ends know better. Mr. Biden, or Vice President Biden and Barack Obama, our president. Now I'm getting a little riled up. But anyway, um, Jesus, our son of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, said, you have every right to defend yourself. And if you don't have a sword or can't afford to get a sword to defend yourself, you, sh you shall sell your clothes, food, or whatever belongings to get a sword to defend yourself. So that means it's a God-given right for us to defend ourselves and to bear arms in this country. Our forefathers knew this after uh, we won, our forefathers won the uh, Revolutionary War. And by the way, what started the uh, Revolutionary War, um, you know how the original 13 colonies were being bullied and picked on by the uh, English, by the Redcoats. What broke the, sca the camel's back and started the, uh, the Revolutionary War, the Redcoats came and took our guns or took our four took the colonies took their guns that's what broke the camel's back that's what started the revolutionary war and basically <laughs> we defeated the biggest at that time the biggest empire on the face of this earth which was the english empire but uh barack obama <laughs> You should be thrown in jail. You're, you're violating the uh, Constitution. And these uh, people that are uh, victims, victims of violent crimes, did you have a gun to defend yourselves? I don't know the situation, but they're allow the, you're allowing them to use a crisis or crises and your feelings to violate the Second Amendment. You're violating the Second Amendment as a citizen's you're attacking the fundamental to, to, to defend ourselves and to bear arms. You should be ashamed. To a certain extent, you should be ashamed of yourselves for falling for a psychological game. This is a power grab by the federal government with the uh, offshore banking cartels that run this illegitimate government which has Barack Obama as a puppet uh, Barack basically <laughs> they control Barack Obama he's a puppet and it doesn't matter if it's a Republican if it's a Republican president they control him because he he or she is a puppet it doesn't matter Republican Democrat or whatever if it's an independent these offshore bankers have control of President Barack Obama and his whole entire cabinet and remember what Robert Manuel said don't let a good crisis or crises go to waste Sandy Hook is that crisis so they could have a power grab and take our guns they're going to implement this, but it's going to be implemented slowly. And then after people feel that they're protected because there's no guns, then the government, this illegitimate government that's controlled by the offshore bankers, would turn on us and start shooting us. That is death by government. That is democide. Uh, um the sheriffs, the local sheriffs locally throughout the country 
are doing the right thing by standing up and saying, no, we are not going to listen to your executive orders because they're very unconstitutional, Barack Obama. I'm proud of the uh, sheriffs around the country and the law enforcement here in Pennsylvania. You can't let a bureaucrat from uh, Harrisburg or D.C. tell you what to do. You don't report to them. You report to us, we the people. Any local county or state law enforcement or sheriffs or policemen in this state they report to us we the people thank you for defending our right to bear arms you've stated th that there's a couple there's like one sheriff here in Pennsylvania said he has control of a county and it's in the middle of nowhere basically out in the country and the closest it may be 30 minutes away and what happens if he takes takes that individual's rights to bear arms to defend him or her self against a criminal they won't be able to thank God that that sheriff here in Pennsylvania said it he may it may take him 30 minutes to an hour to respond it's better off that the citizen should have the right to bear arms so he could he or she could defend against a criminal and when he gets there he doesn't have to mop up the blood or he doesn't have to take the bodies that the criminal or the person that the bodies of the individuals that he he or she killed instead it will just be the criminal that will be taken off either injured hurt or the corpse of the criminal that's committing the illegal act against a law-abiding citizen here in the state of Pennsylvania. And I would like to uh, inform everybody uh, from Allegheny, anybody from the Allegheny area, Allegheny County area, please talk to your state representatives on the on a House bill that's going to be. I hope it got put through on the floor. I, I've learned about this about a week or two ago. I did go up to Greens, I mean uh, Harrisburg, for the Right to Bear Arms rally. And uh, there's quite a few conservative Republicans and some Democrats that are defending this, that are, that are going to back this bill. They said they're going to be backing it. And the bill number's three. 57. Anybody that lives here in Allegheny County, please talk to your representatives about Bill 357 to enforce it. Don't put it down because that will, that will protect us and the Second Amendment to, to bear arms here in the, Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, once again, the bill number is uh, 357. It's a House bill. I hope they didn't vote it down. And anybody that lives in the state of Pennsylvania, either if it's in Allegheny County, Butler, uh, Bucks County, so on and etc., please talk to your state representative about Bill 357. We are the there. We the people have the right to say something to our public servants here in the state of Pennsylvania and that includes the sheriffs please tell them you're also we the people as a sheriff you could turn around and say please support 357 whoever these sheriffs representatives are too it's very important to defend the second amendment right now if we don't have a Second Amendment, we won't be able to defend our property, which is the fourth, which falls under the Fourth Amendment, and also the First Amendment, the right to speak, the right of speech, the right of the right to to uh, the right to speak and to express ourselves. That will also defend that and all the other amendments in the Bill of Rights of the U.S. Constitution. And 
Well, <laughs> I'm rattling on. This is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye. And thank you very much. And please, don't forget, everybody here in the state of Pennsylvania, please talk to your representatives to back Bill 357 to protect our right to bear arms in the state of Pennsylvania. And tell, and this will be a message to Washington, D.C., the outlaw president and vice president, the President Barack Obama and Vice President Biden. You have no right violating our God-given right to defend ourselves. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, saying once again, so long and goodbye, and God bless everybody. Take care.